Hey there gang. We're looking at flat top and I wanted to have a conversation with you about a uh, scenario to the Coral Sea battle. Uh, there's three different scenarios that you can play here. One's 109 turns long and you know goes, covers about four days of action. And the second one is the crucial days, which is uh, 42 turns uh, running from you know, 0100 on uh, 7th of May through the evening of the 8th of May. And then that's the one that uh, I'm probably going to set up for us. What I was thinking was that this might be an interesting game to play as a play by poll. And for those of you, to, those of you that have not uh, seen or experienced any of that before, all we do is uh, we pick a side for uh, readers of the blog to play, and I play the other side, and I run all of the combats, I run all of the dice, I help you make uh, informed choices by providing you polls that you guys vote on, which will then drive the action for the side that we elect to let you guys play. And I run the other side in a pre-programmed way, uh, trying to eliminate what my all-seeing eye. So it's kind of like an umpired version of the game, except that I'm playing both sides. Yeah, I, I'm just fulfilling your choices of decisions that need to be made. And they may be major decisions, i.e. Uh, am I going to advance along the, the, the Solomon Islands chain? Or they might be minor tactical decisions. Am I going to launch a search aircraft now or three turns from now? Am I going to launch both torpedo bombers and dive bombers? Am I going to launch all of my aircraft or half of my aircraft? Things like that. So you'll get to make a lot of the choices, but I don't have to worry too much about the rules. And I'll handle all that. And if there's anything peculiar or interesting that will uh, cause you some grief or concern, I'll make you aware of that in the choice making matrices. So, and for the for the uh, the side that we we uh, that I play, I'll be running uh, as I mentioned a pre-programmed result uh, a plan, and uh, <coughs> you won't know what that is, but it will uh, yeah, it will be based upon you know a little bit of history. A little bit of fun, a little bit of making it more interesting for you guys and more entertaining for me. And uh, I won't be, I'll be using die rolls to uh, make informed choices about given situations if something comes up where, you know, I know what's going on and I can make a choice, I'll roll a die to do that, odds and evens or whatever the case may be. If there's more choices, we'll use a d10, whatever. So. With this particular scenario, 42 turns, uh, the blue circles you can see on the map, uh, so there's one around Guadalcanal there, and there's uh, two more here, and those two uh, spread out, uh, one from Woodlark Island here, and the other from uh, the Des Moines uh, Island here. <coughs> And uh, the Shoho Japanese ship is here, and then all the, the um, troop transports and whatnot are at Woodlark. And they have to set up within the smaller circle, and then the larger circle is where these guys can set up, and this may be or is allowed to be a sea plane port. We can put one there for the Japanese if we want to. Over in Guadalcanal, we've got uh, the two main CVs. They can be within any of these hexes here set up. Plus, there's some forces that actually start in uh, uh, Tulagi here, which is just across the strait from Henderson. The red uh, blocks represent the furthest north that the, uh, the forces of the Allies can set up in. The yellow the yellow dots, the yellow blocks in the distance represent bases that the Japanese currently control. And the blue blocks just are reminders that, uh, you know, this is where Australia is. Haha. <laughs> where the bases are in northern Australia. So, what I was thinking was that given that the American intel was so good about what was going on with the Japanese and where the Japanese were headed and what their plan was to attack Port Moresby, which is all the way over here on the left-hand side, uh, that uh, I would play the Americans 
uh, knowing that the, the forces are within these, these blue circles and give you guys the opportunity to have a stab at playing the Japanese and uh, coming up with a plan to accumulate the most victory points. And uh, the, the forces that are available to you, to you will be the ones that are here on the right hand side. And I've already got those all pulled out, all the aircraft, all that sort of good stuff. And you can see there's a fair number of uh, landing craft. And landing craft can accumulate victory points by being in the Port Moresby hex and uh, unloading. And they can unload for up to eight turns. And in doing so, they generate two VPs per turn per ship. So that's fairly significant. The other thing you can do, uh, uh, there's some other specific victory conditions in the, in the scenario booklet that we'll get into later on that will help uh, either the Allies or the Japanese pick up some extra victory points, uh, up to 50. And then the rest of it is going to come out of losses that are taken by, the, by each side. So, if that all sounds interesting, uh, pop a comment below in, uh, for this video, either on the blog or on the YouTube channel or on the Facebook page, and, uh, or in Twitter, or in Tumblr, or on Google+, and I will gather up all the people that are interested and uh, make sure that, you that if you do want to do this, that you subscribe to the blog, because that's where all the content will go. It'll end up propagating out to, excuse me, out to Facebook and other places, but I'm only going to be taking votes that come from the polls that are on the blog. And if you miss a poll and the window closes and you don't get your choice or get to influence the vote, that's war, isn't it? That's choices being made. That's things happening outside of your control. So that's my current plan. In the meantime, I, uh, I'm going to so get this set up and I may actually be playing a small scenario around the same uh, theme, whether it's this specific scenario or just the battle scenario uh, with a buddy online and we're going to uh, uh, do a play, play by email that'll all be done on a vassal. Uh, so you may see multiple posts about this particular topic and title. All right. Talk to you soon. Look forward to catching up with you and I look forward to doing this with you. It should be a lot of fun. Last time we tried to do this uh, with the, the flat top CV system, I had a cleaning lady in and she, uh, she scooped up all the pieces and put them in a nice little pile for us in the middle of the map. It's very handy. That will not happen again. And uh, let's hope that we can get through this one this time. Talk to you soon.